In this video, you'll see how to edit what's in each individual price box on your group pricing page. You can change the price, text, a list of what's included in the membership, and more. For this example, I have two memberships here on my sample site, and a group with both of them in it. And here's the group pricing page. By default, here's what it looks like. It's using the clean default member press pricing page theme that I have selected in the group settings. Now, I want to add a list of benefits and modify what's in each price box. So, from the WordPress admin dashboard, click Member Press here on the left sidebar, and Memberships. Then, click on a membership of the price box that you want to change. From here, go down to Membership Options, and Price Box. And here's where you're going to edit what's in this membership's price box. And you can see a preview of your changes here. This first option, highlighted when checked, will add the most popular text in this price box and make it look different from the rest of them. This can be used to nudge visitors to purchase this membership over your others. Next, the title is the text on the top of the price box, which is the name of your membership by default. And you can change it here if you want. Pricing display is how much the membership costs and how that's displayed. Auto will be generated automatically based on what's set on the membership. Custom lets you type whatever you want. For example, if you wanted the price to display MO instead of the whole word month or anything besides what's shown by default, you can do that here. And selecting none won't show the price at all. So up next, the heading text is what will be displayed below the price. For my example, since this is my pro membership, I'll add a description for who the membership is for versus my basic plan. And next you see benefits. This is a list that will display in the box. You can add features that people get with the membership, benefits, or whatever you want. And using this plus sign icon, you can add additional items. So I'll go ahead and add what's included with this membership. Okay, next, the footer text is what's displayed below your features or benefit list. This can be whatever text you want to display. You could remind people about a free trial period, or even include a link to a page with additional information about this membership that you create on your site. So for my example, I'll go ahead and include a link here. Next, button text lets you change the text on the actual sign up button itself. It's sign up by default, but you can change it to something like buy now or purchase or whatever you want. And button position gives you a few options as to where to display the sign up button itself. Footer, which is selected by default, displays it at the bottom, like this. And header displays it near the top. And both shows both options. Okay, so when you're done editing the price box, just be sure to click Update here to save the changes. And now my price box is saved. So I'm going to pause the video and do these same steps with my basic membership, which is the other membership in my group. Once that's done, now I'll go to my pricing page that I already have open here in a new tab. So here's what my group pricing table was by default before making any changes. And if I refresh the page, here's what it looks like now. And that's it. You've now seen how to modify price boxes in MemberPress. See our knowledge base for more information on groups, price boxes, and more. Also, if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks to make your member press site a success. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting member press up and running a breeze.